I'm doing well, man. You know, just continue to grind and, you know, make sure I see my family and friends before I head out to Houston. Yeah, because once you get to Houston, it's going to be busy. 68th overall pick, third round of the draft to the Texans. Uh, tell me what it was like when, when they finally made the call when you saw your name pop up on the TV screen that you'd been drafted. Oh, well, I mean, it was just an amazing feeling. Um, I got the call, like, at the beginning of the third round, so I knew to get by TV to watch it and just trying to, you know, calm my family down so I could hear everything and, get my itinerary for the next day so I could fly down there to meet everybody in the administrative office and meet all the coaching staff. So, I um, mean, it was just an amazing feeling, you know, just to see that number pop up and not knowing what's going on for, you know, for three days and just praying and hoping and just trying to be in good company. Um, it was just, you know, an amazing feeling. What was it like when you got down to Houston and kind of met the front office guys, the coaches, people down there? How were they? Oh, man, it felt right, man. Those, those are great people down there, and I just felt like, you know, everything worked out the best i just feel you know the gm rick smith and the coach coach kubiak are great people and the owner and just everyone that i got to meet and you know andre johnson met me at the stadium and just, just let me know you know they're excited to have me just understanding that there's some good people down in texas so i know you know they want me and i'm just excited to get down there and get to work it's got to be pretty cool. You're coming from Ohio and Ohio State as well, a big football area. Going down to Texas, you know they love their football down there as well. So this could be a fun team to play for. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, just uh, Texas is rich in their football history, just like Ohio is. And I feel like if there's a football Hall of Fame in any other state, it would be Texas. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> just, to know that, you know, it, just to know that, you know, it, Ohio and Texas parallel – and their love for football is just an amazing feeling. I just want to go down there and give give them my best. Texans draft pick wide receiver Devere Posey, our guest here on ninety seven one, the fan. Uh, talk about if you could. I know it's early. Where you hope to fit in into this Texans offense? Well, I don't know, man. I'm just gonna go down and bury my head in the playbook and just you know bury my head in the weight room and just make sure I'm just doing everything right. So you know, and let my abilities take over. And like the fan, I'm just gonna go do me. You mentioned uh, meeting Andre Johnson, one of the league's top receivers, arguably the best receiver, you know, besides maybe Calvin Johnson in the league. What was it like meeting him, and, uh, you know, how much can you learn from a guy like that? Oh, man, you can learn everything. I mean, I, I like to say that, you know, he's the Texans' greatest player in the history of the franchise. Yeah. So just to have that opportunity to line up next to him or be in the same meeting room next to him and just be his shadow, you know, I'm looking forward to that and just trying to, I don't know, just soak everything up and just be a sponge and just be a freshman again. And um, just just trying to make sure I make the most of everything. A pretty nice situation there as well with a pretty good quarterback in Matt Schaub. It'll be nice having him throw balls to you. What, what do you like? What do you know about Matt Schaub? Oh, hey, hey, I just heard everything about him, man. He's just a stand-up guy. I mean, he's a graduate of Virginia University. and You know, he comes from a great place. I mean, he's a smart guy. So um, they, they, they say he's a professional's professional, so. Look forward to just seeing how he approaches the game. And they say he's like offensive coordinator as well. So, And just looking forward to picking his brains and learning the little small nuances of football at the first level and learning the small nuances of the offense. You obviously, I don't know, he's a good guy. He texted me the other day, so I'm looking forward to getting down there. You obviously have a lot of skills at wide receiver, but everyone wants to get better. What do you feel like you need to do right now in order to improve your game before the season starts? I mean, you know, just everything. I mean, I'm a college wide receiver, so uh, to be a pro, you have to sharpen all tools, every part of your game. And any kid coming out of college, man, they, they feel that, you know, they, they can bring this to the table and they don't need to improve. I, I think it's a lot. So just for me to understand that, you know, I'm a college player and trans pro, I want to sharpen every area of my game. So um, I don't know. I mean, I don't feel like, you know, one part needs more work. I just feel like every part needs work. So I just plan on doing that. Devere Posey with the Houston Texans, our guest here on 97 won the fan. Well, let me ask you a little bit about your time as a Buckeye as well, a great career at Ohio State. How tough was it, though, for you this past season, uh, working out, wanting to play, and just knowing that opportunity didn't come till the end of the season? Oh, exactly that. It was just tough, you know what I mean? But sometimes, you know, we all got to bite the bullet and um, just, you know, just grind through things. And it was just a grind, you know, all of 2011. But the lessons that I walked away, you know, as far as like cerebral goes, you know, I, my head is a lot stronger and I felt like I sharpened some tools in my game as far as mentally being there for the young receivers and being there for Coach Drayton and making his transition a lot more smoother and also wanting to help Braxton as well. So I feel like being able to do those things, you know, and the lessons that I walked away with, you know, and also being able to graduate is something special. 
Yeah, you got to be proud of that. I, I did see a quote where you said the suspension and all the issues you dealt with this past year, a positive thing because of all you learned. Do you feel like you can grow from that into the NFL now, I guess? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Just being able to go through anything. Everybody has to face adversity in their life. And anyone that got drafted or went undrafted had to face some type of adversity. And for this to be my adversity and for me to be able to learn from this and move forward in life with the lessons that I have, I mean, I'll take it and run with it. So um, I'm just trying to, you know, concentrate on the future. and Don't forget the past. Also learn from the past and move forward. On senior day, you got a pretty nice ovation. I mean, the fans were all applauding you. When you look back as your time at a Buckeye, do you do you smile? Are you happy with the, you know uh, what you did as a Buckeye? Is it a positive in your life? Oh yeah, definitely, man. You know, I was you know, this just the people that I got to meet here, the, um, and the great fans, and you know, it's just a great town and great city. And um, you know, my classmates, my teammates, um, my girlfriend. Coach Trussell, you know, guys that play here, you know, there's something that's special about Columbus, and, and it's hard to, you know, pinpoint on your finger, but everyone, I mean, I just remember when I was coming up here as a recruit and just seeing the craze and the madness, like, why do people, like, why do people love Ohio State so much? <laughs> and being here for, you know, four years, you know, I see why. It's just a special place, you know, and, and everyone that graduates from here, they have a special connection with this place, with Ohio Street, with the Oval with Ohio Stadium, with the shot and scene center, whatever it is. And just for me to, you know, have my connection, I see why people are crazy about Ohio State. And just such an amazing place. And I just appreciate all the fans and everything that they've done for me up to this point. And I don't know, man. It's just, you know, I like to call this place home. No question. Let me ask you is this before we let you go. Uh, you talked about Braxton Miller, some of the other wide receivers for Buckeye fans here looking ahead to the 2012 college football season. What do you think we got here in Columbus? We got a pretty good team coming back? Yeah, man, you got some special kids, man. These kids have been through adversity. These kids had to step up at a young age. And a lot of people don't realize that what happened last year is that, you know, of course a lot of kids can play, but the lessons and the, um, the valuable teachings that they got playing at a young age are invaluable. Being to go out and up against some of the good like Michigan State and Wisconsin and not and win that Wisconsin game. So the, those kids, you know, guys like Devin Smith, Braxton, and Philly Brown, Rod Smith, those guys have great. They have great experience. And Ryan Shazier, and Christian Bryan, and CJ. So, being that they, you know, had that experience, you know, at a young age, you know, coming back as older guys, you know, they've been through the fire. So they're gonna. It's not gonna be nothing new to them. Big games and playing on big stages. So I really think Urban has a special group with these kids. They gel well together. They're they're all good guys. So you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what the Buckeyes are gonna do this year. Hopefully, they can run the table. But um, we'll see how it goes. They'll be playing for a national championship here with uh, Coach Urban Meyer leading his troops. So uh, we'll see how it ends up. And on that note, we're looking forward to seeing how you do here at uh, Rookie Mini Camp and in training camp. And certainly when the NFL season starts, the one of the newest members of the Houston Texans, wide receiver Devere Posey. Devere, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll hopefully talk to you down the road. No problem.